Some of you people on Facebook are just so fucking retarded and bipolar. And you guys just need to go fucking die, you know. But anyway, this is my impact review. It might be my last, one of my last ones. It should be my last one, but whatever. I'm going to make it quick because I'm going to do a rant later. I just want to have time for that shit. Okay, so TNA this week. This is a day late, I know. It started off with a contract signing with Dixie Carter and Jeff Jarrett. And uh, they were signing, like Dixie said, I'm going to give you like all the share. You're going to have this company if we lose. If we win, you're never going to have anything to do with TNA ever again. And Jeff Jarrett goes, I'm going to take what's mine tonight. And then Karen tried to like say something, but Dixie was like, nobody's talking to you. So then Jarrett tried to take the, the briefcase anyway with the, with the company shares. And JB's like, no, you can't do that yet. So Double J punches him saying, I always wanted to do this. Bam. And he knocks out JB, which is kind of like, wow. You know, because JB's been there since the beginning. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, he, I guess he's always wanted to punch JB for, like, 13 years. Um, The next thing that happened was Koya. I mean, I, I got to call him Mahabali Shira. That's his name. Mahabali Shira versus Abyss. If he beats Abyss, he gets James Storm. And James Storm interfered, but Shira destroyed Abyss. He beat him. And then everybody did the Shira dance, right? The next thing that happened was uh, EC3. EC3 came out with Tyrus. And he's like, I got a suit for Jeff Hardy. When Jardy comes out, he's like, don't play his music because personal assistants don't deserve music. So Hardy has like a suit with like EC3's face all over it. And then he's got like a EC3's head on a stick. <clears throat> Funny shit. And then he like says, you suck or whatever. People are chanting Hardy. He tells him, tell them to stop doing that. And Jeff Hardy says, no. So then EC3 is like, if you don't tell him to stop, I'm going to fire you right now. So Jeff is like, could you please stop chanting my name, please? And then Rockstar Spud comes out and says, EC3, this is shit. So then they uh, assault Rockstar Spud. And then he makes Hardy hit Rockstar Spud. And Hardy does this. And then Hardy's pissed off at himself. Um, The next match was uh, a fatal four-way. Was it a four-way? Yeah, it was a four-way. For the knockouts title. With uh, Lady Tappa versus Awesome Kong versus Gail Kim versus Brooke the champion. There's one girl that I didn't want to win. And I didn't mind if the other four won. And the other three won. And the one I didn't want to win, Gail Kim. She wins the match. She wins the title. And once again, Gail Kim is a five-time knockout champion. Bearing the talent. She's like a female Triple H, I swear. Okay, anyway. Now, the main event. This was a really good match. Global Force versus TNA for the comp. This was like Survivor Series 2001 with the Alliance. It was a lethal lockdown match. It was five on five. Apparently, Eric Young is in the team now. So, because of what happened last week, so it's a five on five. But TNA has no partner. I predicted that it was either going to be Chris Melendez, Kurt Angle, or Jay Bradley. Jay Bradley, but uh. It wasn't either of them, any of them. So uh, it starts off with Sanjay Dutt and Davey Richards. And, of course, GFW has the advantage, so Eric Young was the next man that came out or whatever. Um, and he's going all crazy. Blah, blah. And then number four was Drew McIntyre, or Drew Galloway, the leader of the captain, the team captain. Drew Galloway. So he comes out. He looks big as hell now. Oh, my God. And then, of course, number five was uh, Brian Myers, who's uh, Brian Myers, I should call him, who's Kurt Hawkins. His hair looks stupid. You, I do not look stupid. You look stupid. You look stupid. You look stupid. Respect the Hawk. Somebody just walked by. Um, and then Bobby Lashley came out. Oh, Lashley. Uh, Lashley came out. He's in Team TNA. He's big as hell, too. And then, uh, okay, yeah, I know I sound generic. I haven't eaten anything. Give me a fucking break, people. Team, team, uh, Global Forces, uh, Global Force, Global Force Wrestling. Chris Masters, Chris Mordensky came out. I thought he was the captain, but whatever. 
he comes out really slow and then he fights Lashley. They have a personal rivalry there, John. And then the fucking, what's his name, came out. Uh, Eddie Edwards from Team TNA. He's a wolf. Oh, oh, oh. And then Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett came out. And Jesus Christ, he's fat. He looks like Kevin Owens. Holy shit. Except Kevin Owens wrestles with a shirt. And then, of course, Team TNA's final guy has to come out. And I'm like, it's going to be Melendez. And then, boop, boop. It's it's a woman beater, Bram. Bram is the fifth guy in Team TNA. It makes absolutely no sense, but okay, we'll we'll take it. I remember when the Beatdown Clan earlier this year had like a hardcore war, a hardcore justice. They had a mystery partner, and it was also Bram, but whatever. So Bram comes out. He's the, the fifth guy in TNA. Let the little lockdown begin. And they this was a good match. They're beating the hell out of each other, and it was really fun to see these two guys from these two teams from different companies fighting. And then, of course, uh, when they take out all the Global Force guys, because that's what happened, Jared's, like, crawling out of the cage, trying to grab his wife, and then they pull him in, and they all use their finisher on Jeff Jarrett, and they destroy Jeff Jarrett. Um, and then uh, Galloway, Drew Galloway, he uh, Future Shock DDTs Brian Myers, Brian Myers on the, the garbage can and pins him. And this was a really good emotional ending. It must be hard because Jeff Jarrett is actually, like, handed up away all shares in real life. So it must be hard for him. Like, he founded this company. It's been around 13 years. And in real life, he's giving it up. Uh, he sold it to Dixie Carter. But I hope Global Forces is, runs as long as TNA has. But, yeah, it was a good ending. Dixie comes out. They hug. They celebrate. They have their sh company shares in the briefcase. They all go in the crowd and, like, celebrate with the crowd. It was a really good ending. If TNA is going to be on another offseason, this was the best way to end it. So, yeah, great show, great ending, great storytelling. Now, the rant. Okay. During the thing with Rockstar Spud, it was announced that Spud will be getting a title shot against EC3 next week. So, right there, it tells you that my biggest nightmare for a year has come true. Bound for Glory, just like last year, will be nothing more than a filler show. And they've already announced the first match, Gil Kim versus Awesome Kong. Where's Velvet Sky? Where's the Dollhouse? Where's Brooke? Okay, this is a rant. This match, Global Force versus TNA, should have been the main event of Bound for Glory. No exceptions. You were building this up for three months. This was like your match of the summer after EC3 versus Kurt Angle. Um, if you want to do Rockstar Spud challenging EC3 for the title with uh, Hardy at ringside, that's fine. Do that at Bound for Glory. Like, if you really need to do Spud versus EC3, EC3 do it at Bound for Glory. This match, Global Force, was really good. And I know that people would have bought the show if this was the main event. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, well, I appreciate the free matches, but why don't you just do them on your pay-per-view? Why don't you build them up? Because with, with these two, with the world title match and this lethal lockdown match being built up for a month, it, people would have cared. People would have bought it. People would have went to the show. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I actually know a friend... She's going to Bound for Glory live. She's going for her birthday. And uh, <clears throat> she told me the thing she was looking forward to the most was seeing her favorite wrestler, Drew Galloway. This lethal lockdown match and the ending of it would have been perfect for that.